Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a DIY home decor um, using things that I have around the house. But if you don't have them and you want to do something similar, um, I'll just link where I have it from. A lot of the, the um, things are from Kmart, so um, very reasonably priced and very effective when they're done. I'll um, be doing a mirror, I'll be doing some side coffee tables and going through the process and showing you how I do it. Um, today specifically will be like a rattan look DIY home decor makeover but actually with paper um, I'm using raffia. Now with raffia you can buy it as a paper type or you can buy it more of a plasticky type of thing. Um, the, pay, the raffia I got was from Spotlight so I'll, I'll link where I have got everything and with all the prices as well so if you want to do something similar but everything I'm doing today will be used um, in the house somewhere. Um, I was going to do it more things but I found as I was editing the videos they were just taking way too long it would have been an ultra long video so I'll be making it'll be a series of different things over time. Um, I'll extend the return look into the next video I do as well because um, I have so many good ideas for it and at the moment it's such a um, sort of in that fashion look boho type of thing is in at the moment. If you can make it cheap because return actually can get quite pricey, um, yeah it's a good thing. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, so I hope you enjoy this video and we'll get started. So this was a project I did a little while ago, um, the cushions, I made the cushions from an old Duna cover, it was my daughter's and I made the um, coffee table stand out of a Kmart plant stand and a Kmart placemat. Um, very simple, very easy, I actually put this on the Kmart decor hacks page and it was really popular, a lot of people liked it, um, so simple. Any sort of um, placemat, um, obviously I, I bought the Kmart placemats, they're only $3. Actually these new placemats are a lot bigger than the one um, on the stand that they used to sell. Anything like this would be great, you could have um, these rattan looking um, basket type things. Anything you want really, even... Um, like round chopping boards that are wooden, nice wooden round chopping boards stuck on the top can be a good idea as well. Um, so this is a Kmart plant stand that I bought. It was originally black, but I painted it white because I wanted to put it in the family room. It's all nice and white and bright in there. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm taking the placemat that I bought to put on top and I'm just making marks around the edges of the stand and also in the middle so I have a little um, guide as to where to put the glue and again I'm using the um, hard as nails glue it's just a bunning, a cheap Bunnings one I think it was two dollars something and I use it for everything it's really good and it's really easy to work with it doesn't set too quickly either and um, all you do then is just pop the stand on the top and just give it a firm press and I actually put some magazines on the top as well something heavy just to keep it in place and just leave it for about half an hour it takes two to four days to dry hard completely but should be fine Be using these placemats that I bought from Kmart quite a while ago. Um, as you can see, they've been well used, but they've been put away for a while. Um, they're actually wooden ones, so on the back it's raw, um, and I'll be sanding that down. Um, and I'll also be sanding the sides of it down as well because there is paint um, that painted the sides. So we won't worry about the underside that is already painted because we won't be using that. Um, I also sand down the, the corner edges so it sort of makes a nice neat uh, rounded edge. Thank you. 
I got this brown paint from Kmart, it was $2 and it's an acrylic water based paint. Um, I'll be mixing this with some water to make like a stain almost to put over the um, sanded back wood on the placemat just to give it a nice colour. Um, we're not going to cover the actual grain of the wood because that's really pretty. Um, so we'll just we're just doing it to give it a deeper color. Actually when it had dried I realised the stain wasn't dark enough um, so I decided to do another coat. Um, instead of wiping it off at the end I just let it soak in itself. I think that's what I probably shouldn't have done last time but um, I thought I would water the paint down so if I had to put multiple coats on it was still, the grain was still visible. This stencil is from Kmart, it was $4 and it comes with two pieces. I'm going to use the top piece on this placemat. It's actually self-adhesive so um, it's very easy to use. Just using a white water based paint, it was actually left over from the bedroom walls. I had a little bit left over in a gigantic tin and it hadn't this bit hadn't dried out. So I'm using that and the roller I'm using is from the tiles and I also use that for the gloss doors as well.
I'm just going to apply a matte varnish and this was also from Kmart I think it was eight dollars for the tin um, so it provides protection um, from spills it's meant to be waterproof and will stop the surface from staining um, yeah I find this really good and it also brings the color and the timber out a little bit more as well The raffia I'm using for the stand is from Spotlight. Um, it comes in a 200 meter roll and I'll show you up on the screen what it looks like. Um, I've tied it at the top of the pot plant stand and uh, it's just going over the panels, over and under, so I'm just weaving it through each panel. Just tie it off at the bottom. I didn't go down all the way, it's just up to you how far you want to go. Another thing too with this particular one is I just did the one panel but you can do the other two at the back if you really like. Um, I just didn't want to and also I ran out of raffia so um, it would look nice with all of them done but this is what I wanted. As you can see, the, it's, the tires are in, at the back, so when it's facing, it won't be noticeable to anyone. I didn't spray this with varnish, but you could. Um, it's being a matte varnish, it does make the raffia a tiny bit darker, but uh, it still looks really nice. I'm just attaching the placemat to the stand now uh, and I'll be tracing around it to get the exact spot and I'm going to be using my hard as nails glue
This mirror was from Kmart, it was reduced to $15, so I thought it would be perfect for this project. I'm just tying the raffia around the base of the mirror. I actually cut off a length of raffia. Um, I don't put the whole roll through, wind the whole roll through. I just find it easier. The, the whole roll is just too bulky. Um, so I cut a length off and I'm just applying the hardest nails glue as well just so it stays in place it's a bit more sturdy piece of raffia and tying it make sure that the knot is at the back of the mirror so you can't see it when I first started doing this I thought this is going to be so tedious but it is actually so relaxing I, I just enjoy doing it so much I just had my Netflix show on was watching it and listening to it while I was doing this and apart from Khaleesi annoying me <laughs> it was very very relaxing to line the actual raffia paper up with the bars in the middle of the frame um, especially around the corners because you have to tend to overlap at some point like I'm doing now I'm overlapping it because there's more space at the bottom than there is at the top
just finally finished doing the um, wrap of the raffia. Um, so that's the front. I think it looks so nice. It looks so good. Um, I tied it at the back and I just glued it down. You're not going to see all that. It's a bit messier at the back, but that's because I didn't really care. Um, the main thing is the front. And also I just parted a little bit um, so that the nail can um, go through that hook on the wall. Okay, I just sprayed a coat on the front just then um, and it it just makes it a little bit darker but it does tend to um, dry out lighter um, so it should be fine to be honest it really probably wouldn't have mattered much if I didn't um, put the matte varnish on this because it it's only going to be hanging on the wall anyway um, but I think it looks really good and I'm so pleased with it. Mm. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Um, the mirror that I made will be going up on, there's a wall I have with a really big mirror on it, but what I'm gonna do with that 
is I've seen this beautiful wallpaper from Kmart so I'll be showing you how I um, wallpaper that wall and that's where that mirror will be going so um, I'm actually excited about that because I've looked at that sort of wallpaper for a long time online and it, it's expensive and I can get a roll and it should a one roll should do that wall and it's only $35 so I'll make over that space and I actually bought a side table for there too for $29 it was reduced that goes with the other furniture so um, that may be in the next video if not it will be coming up soon um, like I said thank you so much for watching my video and I'll see you in my next video bye